Hey folks, John Sinclair here for another edition of 7 Movement Morning. What we're going to do today is we're going to focus on some stretching and some mobilizing around the hips. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a little rub and scrub of the pelvis, especially the posterior side of the pelvis. Let's go ahead and scrub back in here. Go across the sacrum bone. We're going to go to the outside of the hips. Work our way to the front of the hip bone. Okay, and we're going to go to a new spot today, which is called the ischial tuberosity. We're going to go right to the point where this hamstring tendon attaches in through that tib uh, sacrotuberous ligament. You're just going to go across it with your hand. The other way I like doing it is using a foam roller and a little pad. So I'm going to take this little foam roller, I'm going to get that ligament on there and I'm going to swing my leg. That's a great way to create some compression right on that sacrotuberous ligament. Right on that bone, swing that leg side to side, then we go to the other side, do the same thing. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through some real easy stretches that you can incorporate throughout your day. This one is something you should be doing really frequently, especially if you sit for long periods of time. So I got a little box set up here. You can use just the end of a chair. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to go foot elevated, toes going to be pointed up, keep a slight little bend in the knee. All we're going to do is think tall posture, long through the spine, long through the shoulders, and slowly rock forward. So it's just a slow little elastic stretch. Slowly move into it. Nice and subtle and rhythmical. And then we're going to hold. One, two, three, four, five. Come out and then switch. Same thing. Wide through the shoulders, long through the spine. Okay, and then a hold, same posture. Okay, so now you change your position relative to your box. So this time we're gonna go, I'll go same leg, but I'm gonna be out to the side here, and I'm gonna tilt my hips back as I rock there. So I'm changing where my foot touches the chair, or my little box, as I rock forward. You're going to feel this in a different part of the hamstring. And then we're going to hold this. One, two, three. Okay, and then same thing the other side. So open to the hips. Or hold. Very good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cross the legs. So this leg's going to come across your midline. You're going to turn the foot in, square the shoulders to it. Small little reach. What you'll feel now is you're going to feel a stretch out the outer part of the hamstring, the lateral hamstring known as the bicep femoris. Okay, and then a hold. Switch. It's coming across the midline, so it crosses the belly button. Turn the toe over, chest up, rock those hips back, tilt the pelvis back. And hold. There you go. So there's a hamstring one. Now let's just do some staggered drills. One foot further forward than the other. We're going to go straight forward. You're going to go to the inside a little bit, and then we're going to cross over top. Okay, back to the front, to the inside, cross over top. Okay, both feet flat on the ground, straight in front, to the inside, crossing over. So I like after I've done a foot elevated stretch just to integrate the ground again, through all those three motions. 
Okay? So now we can do a lateral squat. You're going to put your foot up on the box, tilt your hips back, and you're going to feel this more in through the inside of the groin. And same thing. We're just going to go little hip hinge. Okay? Other side. Adductor. So stretching the inside of the thigh. Keep that foot planted to the ground. We've got, I've got a little pad here in front because we're going to work on the front of the thigh. So we have pin the top of your foot on your box or your chair. Knee goes to the ground. This is a good one to do in front of the couch. You're going to pin that there. Try to get your heel back towards your bum. Think about long and wide through the chest. Present your first rib towards the ceiling. You should feel a nice stretch in through the front of the quad. And then as we come out, we're going to rock forward. So you feel stretch more to the front of the hip. Hold that position. Okay, and then we're going to switch. Nice and tall. Present the first rib to the ceiling. When your chin goes towards the ceiling, you're going to feel a deeper stretch in the quad because the quadricep is attached all the way to this muscle right here called the sternocleidomastoid. So when the chin goes up, you can even present your beard to the ceiling. I feel a deeper stretch in the quadricep. Okay, and then rock forward. So there are some really good stretching exercises for the thighs. If you've been sitting around watching the Olympic Games, you'll know how important it is to keep these things moving and feeling nice and spry.